Hey guys, Dr. Huntington here. And in this video, we're going to look at how a plant compound called berberine, you know, can be used to help people with some of the most common health problems and diseases. Now, berberine has been used in Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. And there's a growing body of research which is showing its huge potential to help with obesity and diabetes, heart disease, a polycystic ovary syndrome, fatty liver, and cancer. Um, now, berberine is extremely bitter, and it's found in the stem and bark and root of plants like turmeric and golden seal, uh, barberry, and, and organ grape. And it has properties that cut right to the root of the major causes of most diseases and aging. You know, it's anti-inflammatory, um, it's antimicrobial, and it's a strong antioxidant. You know, but its most unique property is how it activates an enzyme. Uh, that enzyme is called adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase, or what most people just simply call AMPK. And only a few compounds have the ability to activate AMPK. You know, you can think of AMPK as the master switch in your body that regulates like how and where energy is produced and used. Um, when AMPK is activated, you know, you can properly use glucose, you know, burn fat for energy and produce mitochondria. You know, this is really central to your overall health. You know, in other words, AMPK is crucial for metabolism and has enormous potential as a therapy for metabolic diseases like diabetes and cancer. Uh, in fact, a common drug prescribed for diabetes called metformin functions by activating AMPK. You know, and of course, this is what berberine does as well. Now, almost 3,000 studies have been done on berberine, and there's, you know, there's some very compelling research that shows, you know, shows berberine's role in controlling diabetes and you know, that, that it's as effective as metformin in terms of you know, lowering fasting glucose and insulin levels, as well as post-meal glucose levels and markers for long-term blood sugar. You know, that's really a big deal and something that you should note considering that like blood sugar issues are a huge problem around the world. Now, research has also shown berberine to lower triglycerides and insulin resistance in polycystic ovary syndrome. And that's a hormonal disorder that affects fertility. You know, but it's likely that the positive effects on triglycerides and insulin resistance cross over to people that don't have that syndrome also. You know, and this is great news because you know, metformin has side effects, right? That's the common diabetes drug. You know, and those side effects include blocking vitamin B12 absorption, um, like muscle weakness and abdominal pain, um, upper respiratory infections, and I mean, like most drugs, that's not the end of the list, right? Now, berberine also reduces your risk for cardiovascular disease by improving your LDL and HDL cholesterol ratio, you know, and by supporting the integrity of blood vessel walls and suppressing inflammatory cytokines, you know, which are the molecules that signal to increase inflammation. Now, berberine has also shown great potential in combating non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. You know, it does this by concentrating itself you know, in the liver, where it activates AMPK and directly affects the genes involved in energy metabolism. Now, berberine can also reduce harmful bacteria in your gut, you know, and specifically the ones that encourage fat storage. And so berberine is targeting key pathways that help control the epidemic of metabolic disorders that are so common today. Now, when taking berberine in dietary supplement form, you know, take it in two to three doses a day because, you know, it's quickly metabolized. You know, and you want it to be in your system, you know, throughout the day. And so that's why you'd, we'd want to take that amount, not all at one time, but throughout the day. Now, in terms of dosage, you know, you can take between 1,000 and 1,500 milligrams total per day. You know, and take it with meals to optimize control of blood sugar spikes. You know, so keep an eye out for berberine. I mean, you can include some of the source plants in your diet, you know, or if you're like most people that want a healthy dose of berberine, take it in supplement form. You know, for more information about supplements, go to bodymanual.com, and I'll see you in my next video.